In chapter 3 you work with the pen tool and you look at making some basic shapes and um, modifying those shapes to make them a little more complex by using the series of pen tools. So um, I just popped my pen tools kind of out by using this little side arrow and put them down here for a little easier access. Um, I'm going to just go about making this kind of trunk shape um, two different ways. I'm going to do it the first way just by um, looking at carving that shape out of a block and the second way will be drawing it freeform with the pen tool. You can work in whichever manner makes sense to you. I find it easier to think about using the pen tools um, including the add anchor point and the convert uh, anchor point tools um, as a way to modify really simple shapes. That's, that's my preferred way of, of working with this set of tools. Some people would rather just um, basically trace a contour or create a contour by plotting anchor points with the pen. So I'm starting with a rectangle, a red rectangle. Pretty easy, basic shape. Um, you know how to draw rectangles by now. Um, and if I wanted to make this sort of curved shape that happens in the trunk area, I would need to make room to have a curve on both sides. So in order to add a curve, I'm going to have to add an anchor point, and I'm going to do that on both of my um, sides of what we'll consider to be the trunk. Now once I've added my anchor points, I find it easiest to kind of indicate to myself where I'm headed. So I'm just using the direct selection tool to click and drag those points um, towards each other just to give myself the idea that this is kind of where I'm headed. Now I, I don't want them to be sharp angles because I started with a straight line when I added those anchor points. I'm going to get uh, more straight lines basically until I use my convert anchor point tool. And with this tool I can go to any of my anchor points. In this case I'll, I'll start here. And if I click and drag, I'm basically dragging a curve out of my straight angle. So I'm converting my straight line into a curved line. And I'll do that also on this side. Now on this side you might be tempted to click and drag down again as I just did. And notice what happens. I get this sort of tied up um, situation with my anchor point and my and my um, contour. So you'll just have to be a little um, extra aware. But this side I would actually need to drag upwards to make my curve um, without it getting all tangled into itself. Now it's okay when you're done if you know the sides aren't totally even. Um, you can always take your direct selection tool and modify where your where your anchor points are to get them aligned. You can also, I'm going to just click and drag over this anchor point and I'm going to hold shift and click and drag over this anchor point and I'll move, let's say I'll move this out a bit and I'll do the same thing on this side. I'm just pressing shift this time left arrow, shift left arrow, shift right arrow and then I can click and drag and maybe give myself a little space. So this is one way to kind of think about creating this sort of shape. Another way to do it would be to just start with my pen tool and if you are pretty good at um, kind of thinking ahead of yourself you might prefer to work in this manner. So what I might do instead is make one um, anchor point, plot one anchor point, and release the mouse and move my cursor and plot another anchor point and then come down to approximately where I want the curve to be and click and drag to make a curve and then come down to where I want the curve to land someplace like this and release the mouse and plot another anchor point. I've got my smart guides turned on and that's helping me to sort of put things into alignment. Click and drag to add another curve and my last click is where my first click was. This will close my path and so now I have a complete path. You know they look pretty similar. <laughs> my curves are not exactly symmetric but we're <laughs> we're close. Um, they look pretty similar. They're not exactly um, the same but they uh, they are the same in the terms of being a complete shape, right? So both of these are complete whole shapes that are defined by a series of anchor points, wherein my first click was the same as my last click. 
Um, that's true when you draw a rectangle like this, you get a complete shape. And it's also true when you take the pen tool and you make whatever shape you want to make as long as you close the shape. Okay, just to show uh, where this is under view, if you look under your view menu, menu just beneath guides, you have smart guides. Um, I usually leave those turned on when I'm working with the pen tool. It's really nice to see how to align all those anchor points.